Alrighty, YouTube. Another just beautiful day, man. <laughs> our neighbors cut all of our grass again. That's so nice. Um, we were showing their daughter and son the animals yesterday. They got to hold the big snake and cuddles and see some of the reptiles. They loved it. But man, guys, they cut all our grass. Like, how nice. Of course, they didn't cut the five-acre pasture. Cause that's some shit you gotta pay people for. But look at this. Cut as much of this as possible. We gotta get that up from Anissa's. Uh, she removed that bush damn good. They ran over our tarp that we have cement under. The electricians came and they saw me building and just gave me some free tarp on their. La I mean, free cement on their last day here. That's pretty cool. Definitely gonna use that. Eventually. But we got a lot of, a whole lot of cement. So we'll see. Um, we definitely don't need to do anything with it right now. But yo, I was just telling Anissa, it's been raining a lot. And look at this, y'all. We got fucking, these trees grew out of nowhere. Those trees were not there. These, this row right here. They were not there. And they just fucking grew up. Like, holy cow. And then just look at all this. This shit grew up so fast. We were literally just running through here with the dogs before the rainstorms. Man. Let's go back here, though. And we can check on some animals before we leave. I've been uh, working. I didn't upload the second video yesterday but i did upload the stanley video and it was pretty cool um yeah i finished all the greenhouse enclosures I went, uh, uh, and then i took a break yesterday like i was exhausted i've been working for weeks straight man i needed to rest and i took the whole half of the second day second half of yesterday to rest and it felt really good uh Make sure the water's off. Yep. Let's go check on the greenhouse, guys. So we got big plants today. Monster, the rhinoceros iguana, gets moved into her new enclosure. And I'm thinking we try to put the male in there and see if they fight. If they do, I'll be in there. Uh, well, I'll just be watching them. We're going to sit down and watch all the animals to make sure they can't get out anymore either. So we're going to see how they do together the male and the female worst case scenario ew i stepped on a bug with my toe and it got all in the crock i love being out here in the country but some stuff i would just never get over anyways um no now my toes are sticky that's gross <laughs> uh anyways so yeah, we're gonna sit out here and monitor, make sure they can't get out, and make sure the male and the female rhinoceros iguanas aren't fighting. Oh, look at these guys. That one's putting weight on really well. Still working on this one though. And oh, they've been pooping. Gotta clean this up. As long as they're eating, as long as they're eating and as long as they're active, I'm not tripping. Uh, if they get too, too skinny, what up? You yep. If they get too, too skinny, then that would be a problem, but they're looking good. But now it's time to go to Tractor Supply. So let's do that. And Cuddles, guys. Came in here last night and saw Cuddles up here looking all cool. And she's climbing. Snakes weren't that active in the boa constrictor. Still isn't active. Uh, but Cuddles is being real active now. And she's ate, eating. So after the boa sheds, I'm going to try to feed her again. And hopefully she's more active. Also do have to add way more stuff into her enclosure because Cuddles does have a few more things than her in there to climb on. And they were in small bins, so not small bins, but not the best enclosures. So not a thing in big enclosures. They got to get used to it. But all right, man, I'm finna go. All right, the doors are locked. These guys are looking so good in here. I wanna add some plants for them though. So I'm gonna do that probably. And give them a pond. 
Mm -hmm. It's good YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so today is finally the day. We move Monster into her new enclosure, her big enclosure. And as y'all know, Monster <clears throat> was pretty tame, but she lost all of that. Oh, 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 oh. She lost all of that. So uh, hopefully we can get our bond back. She's really crazy. Like, she'll bite the hell out of me. Um, let's put her down. Woo! Uh, she's really small. So I just got to monitor her and make sure she can't get out. Uh, watch her for a few minutes. See what she do? Yeah. she get through that oh that's what you're trying to do yeah i don't think so but i don't think so either yeah but she might that's what i'm saying she could <laughs> stick it in. oh 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 what you think i don't think so maybe we gotta watch yeah i can say try putting her through and if her shoulders could go through a little bit oh you're not gonna try put her through mm -mm. sir you're blocking me oh my god let me see. What's up, girl? I don't want to hurt you. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember your dad. <laughs> <laughs> you might freak out. That's a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. So here we have um, a male rhinoceros iguana. And Monster up here is a female. But she's way bigger than him. Mm -hmm. Not that that's a problem, but um, I just want them to just be introduced to each other. I don't want any aggression to go on. They can't rip each other's toes off and stuff like that. So Let's see. If he'll climb out, probably not. He feels safer in here. But let me see if I can get him to come out. As you guys can see, though, he's not small. He's uh, not bowling. Yeah, we'll leave him alone. What if he's stuck? He ain't stuck. Mm. You don't like that. Be careful. I was trying to get him to come out. There we go. Oh, he's a little thing. Yeah, he's tiny. That's a big enclosure for you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah, his feet are small. Jesus. <laughs> But yeah, man, pretty cool. So now we have a male and I'm gonna move that high box actually, just so that they'll be able to see each other. Mm -hmm. And I wanna grab Monster and just pull her down next to him. See what she does when she sees him. She's up there chilling, man. One step at a time. Back to the basics with everything. Let's go walk the dog. Show y'all how much the grass has grown up literally in what a month? We got it cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got it cut a month. And it's already growing up so high. <laughs> hey man, my little. Oh, what taco did you say um, she said I should um, get to fill the hole in the front? What, what? Taco. Or soil. Mm, yeah. Soil. These things, though. Man, what the fuck are they? Oh, Look at this, guys. 
This is at our waist. Oh man, I love this land so much. <laughs> so cool. This dog is going to disappear in three. He's gone. Uh oh. Now with Killua, we got him as a rescue. A lady reached out to me and she gave him us as a puppy. He was really food aggressive. He was abused. The vet said he was 45 pounds underweight. So just imagine that. Uh, I try to find the picture. Killua was all skin and bones, man. Anissa loves the shit out of this dog. Like, I love him too, but Anissa really loves Killua. And uh, that's her baby. But yeah, man, we fed this dog. We got him all good. And now he loves us. But Killua will run away. He, um, he just... He's crazy. He'll look up and be up the road. We've literally chased him down the freaking highway, guys. So, like, Killua is ridiculous. And supposedly, in the winter, all of this stuff goes away. Our neighbors told us that, so that'll be cool. Killua! Oh, boy. Hey, Killua! Come here, boy. He has disappeared in the forest. <laughs> uh -huh.